this further with uh, Walid Fares, anti-terrorism advisor to the U.S. House of Representatives. Mr. Walid Fares, welcome to RT. Very nice to see you now. Uh, judging by what we know now, a suicide, a female suicide bomber targeting a crowded place. Uh, who do you think is behind that attack? Well, if uh, Russian authorities' information is validated, that is, that the uh, person who perpetrated that attack is Oksana Asanova, who has uh, links to the jihadist groups, including two of her uh, husbands have been killed before. She has links, according to the report that we're reading now, to uh, another uh, attacker, jihadist, female attackers, Asyalanova. Then we're talking about a jihadist movement which is linked to al-Qaeda, that is, operational, not just in Russia, but also in other countries, including in Syria, as we know now. Now, the direct motive is not different from the previous attacks on Moscow, on other locations inside Russia, and I would say is not so different from attacks that has happened around the world by al-Qaeda affiliates against democracies, against uh, countries that they want to consider as enemies. In July, Chechen terrorist leader Doko Umar urged militants to launch attacks to uh, disrupt the upcoming Winter Games in Sochi, as we know. Was the attack in Volgograd inspired by, by his statement, you think? There would be little doubt that this attack uh, is not inspired by anything than trying to bring down the Russian preparation, the Russian security preparation, but also international trusts in the Olympics that Russia is, is going to be hosting. This is a very attractive target uh, to not just the jihadists inside Russia, my concern, the concern of many colleagues uh, across the Atlantic, is that other jihadists who have ties to the Chechen jihadists may also be part of uh, potential attacks in the future. And I hope that authorities, both Russian and international, will be ready for that. Why do you think the city of Volgograd has been targeted for the second time in just a few months? Look, this is a question that many international uh, security experts always ask if there is a repetitive attack uh, on, on one target in one city. Most of the answers that we had around the world, and of course in Russia, is that the Chechen jihadists or those uh, terrorist units have a greater presence in that particular geographical area in, in Volgograd in this case, and therefore they are instructing their uh, militants to do the repeat of these attacks. Besides, Volgograd, I think, if I'm not wrong, is the largest city, the closest to where the Winter Olympics are going to be taking place, a few hundred kilometers north of Sochi. Walid Fares, anti-terrorism advisor to the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, Mr. Walid Fares, thank you very much indeed for your time and sharing your views with us. Thank you for having me.